I am back. I apologize, I was busy yesterday. I need to apologize on this one. I had to apologize for yesterday because I was so busy doing wedding stuff. I still had to work in the midst of all this chaos. So forgive me for not doing my motivational Monday. Let's just make it a motivational week. If my voice goes in and out, I do apologize. It's the weather, but I'll be fine. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about just sickness in general. Like, we're not gonna talk about the coronavirus because you can die any second of the day and not, and not be from some major disease. You can die walking out the house, you can die at the store, it, it don't matter. Whatever, wherever you go, I mean, it's not safe. It's not safe, but if you believe in Jesus Christ and you have your angels encamped around about you and you believe that they're encamped around about you, then you should be good. Shouldn't have to be worried about dying from the coronavirus. This is crazy to me. And I'm not gonna say because this happened that Jesus is coming back, because he's coming back regardless. So we all just need to get ready. I was gonna do two videos, but I'm not gonna do two videos. I was gonna do this one for the sickness and then the next one was going to be for the giveaway. But we'll just do two in one and call it a day. For this sickness, I mean, of course, you cannot have that spirit of fear. We can go back. I did this scripture already, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. God didn't give us a spirit of fear. So why are we worried about going outside? Why are we worried about going to the store? Why are we worried about going to work? It don't, it don't make sense to me. It, it just doesn't. So you have to announce that over your life constantly and know that you can't live in fear. Because if you live in fear, that's no way to live. Simply, it's as simple as that. This scripture has been on my mind for a while and my mom actually gave me this scripture and I'm like, this actually makes some sense. So Matthew 7 and 21 simply says, people who are going to say, Lord, Lord, they really don't believe Jesus as their Lord and Savior. They're just saying it. Maybe they're saying it just for recognition. Maybe they're saying it just because somebody else wants them to say it. I don't know, whatever it may be. But not everybody is going to inherit the kingdom of God because they are just doing what they want to do, not doing what their father wants them to do, God. You're supposed to do and live right and do what he says to do. I mean, of course they're not gonna be perfect, but like you cannot be out here trying to get all the benefits of God and not claim him as Lord and Savior. So if you feel like you're sick, whether it's this this season, this seasonal stuff, your sinuses, maybe it's a headache, maybe it might be cramps, maybe it might be whatever, just the flu. I know some people at my job have been sick for months and they're still trying to get over the flu symptom. They don't have the virus, but they have the symptom. So I know that you have to keep speaking to yourself daily and it might get annoying because you're saying the same thing over and over again, like repetition wise, but you're helping your soul. You're helping your spirit. You need to get that down on the inside. No, sickness is not gonna live in the kingdom. It can't live in the kingdom. It can't live in this kingdom. It can't live in my body because this body is a temple of the Lord and it cannot stay here, period, point blank. So my voice is gonna clear up. It has to clear up. That was probably why I had to do this video because my stupid voice. Remember throughout the rest of this week and some people are not actually going to school, work, whatever, but you can still be positive and speak positivity into your life while we're going through this crap because you don't have to live afraid. So don't live afraid. Now, for the giveaway, I wanted to do something that, I mean, just a giveaway, it's not much, but I just wanted to do something so that I can get some, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost, because I was trying to think of what it was. <laughs> I'm trying to do something so that people can help me out, and I'm trying to build up and build up and build up to my actual goal of how I want to give away and how much I want to give away, but, for the giveaway, it is simply going to be, what is a topic that you feel everybody can relate to? Not just something that you want me to talk about, but what is a topic that everybody can relate to and that I should speak on to give motivation? You can comment if you want to, you can message me if you want to, however you want to do it, that's what we're gonna do. And then the giveaway will happen probably at the end of April because I am going out of town for my, not bachelorette party, we're not calling it that, but I'm going out of town. So I'm just going to Alabama, getting away from Pennsylvania so that I can enjoy myself 
with my new family in Alabama. If I change anything, I'll let you know. But I've been really busy trying to get stuff together for this wedding, so it's kind of hard. But that's no excuse. I'm still going to keep doing these videos because people want them. So I can't, I can't stop. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, you can. Yeah, that's fine. All that good stuff. You can give it a thumbs down, too. It's okay. You keep me motivated and keep me going. All right, you guys have a good rest of the week. Do not worry about all this crap that's going around. You stay in your word, you pray, and you listen to God's voice, and you will be totally fine. So I will see you in the next video.